all the processes and organizations, and that includes government, of course, that includes private sector, that includes civil society, that is involved in the multitude of areas that affect the internet, the internet's, internet's effect on humanity, as well as perhaps the creation and spreading of it, what um, inception of, of new concepts, all of that contributes to internet governance. If you had to condense that, I would say that internet governance is, is probably about everyone who is interested in what the internet means today and has some sort of vital stake in the, in, in the internet from an organizational perspective because they get involved in internet governance. Because it affects them. It affects everyone. So surely, if we look at what democracy is all about, democracy is based on a simple principle that society affects all of the people in it. Therefore, they should have a high stake in participating in that society. The internet affects all of us. It affects individuals, and particularly, for example, it affects youth. But it also affects business, government, and society in general. So yes, I feel that people who are out of the process have much to gain by getting involved in, in the IG processes that we've been exposed to at the Internet Governance Forum in Rio de Janeiro. There's a very simple reason why the Internet Governance processes are possibly more relevant to the youth today than anyone else. And that is because the Internet has been most adopted by youth. I mean, we can consider youth to be anyone under 30 years old. And more importantly, any decisions that are made with respect to the technical issues, with respect to the political issues, with respect to policy in business and in government, will be inherited by the youth of today. Because these policies are meant to be far-reaching and looking forward. And it's my personal view that the internet technology is accelerating at such a fast rate that the youth are actually, being the early adopters and having grown up with this technology, are in a brilliant position to understand it faster than everybody else. Which is why I think it's very important for the youth to be involved because they would be able to digest all this information very quickly and understand the implications to human beings quite quickly in my opinion. And more importantly than that, in 10 years time or 5 years time, they're going to be inheriting many of the solutions that are formed. So surely it makes sense for them to play a role in the formation, or even if it's an advisory role, in the formation of these solutions and mapping a direction forward for internet governance. We, we hear the same things we hear about spam, perhaps about um, people, malicious people obtaining personal information, and etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But something else that uh, comes from, from my particular field of expertise, which is technology, is the widespread um, adoption of spatial technology. And it's not a question of if this stuff will be adopted, it's a question of when, and it'll become widespread. Again, very young people are increasingly adopted spa adopting spatial technology. The Internet Governance Forum, unfortunately, is becoming overly politi political. Because we have so many governments involved here, we're, we're, we're getting into quite a political debate in certain areas. You know, China is, is a recent newcomer and uh, panels that I've, I've witnessed to have had some interaction there, Russia, there's a bit of political interaction. So if we had to cut through the politics, what are we really talking about? And in, in my opinion, it seems that it's, it's many of, of the issues already mandated by the WSIS. Uh, we've got, we're looking at access, they're looking at diversity and openness, as well as security is, it seems to be a very popular theme. And another, th pop, yeah, security, access, oh, and of course infrastructure, and how do you deploy it and measure it. And uh, there seems to be a strong emphasis here on trying to find successful models and spread the word on that, and that, that I think is positive. As for one particular issue, no, I, I don't see uh, focus around a particular focal issue uh, at, at the 2007 IGF. I've heard that 
at the 2007 IGF. The theme, in fact, the reason for it being in Rio, this, of course, I've, I've simply heard from another delegate and, and might be a rumor, but the theme of the, the IGF being held in Rio is that the focus was meant to have been placed on internet governance with respect to developing nations and how does it affect developing nations and can be used as an effective tool towards further development. We've seen some of that, but I don't, I don't agree, I don't, I don't believe that that has been the focal point of, of the debate, not at all. Youth of the world, you have to get involved in internet governance because it affects you. And surely, if you are willing to live with the consequences of a process, you would want to be engaged in that process. So I believe that the invitations out there may not exist as openly as they should, but you should ask for them. And you should take and claim your stake in the internet governance process because tomorrow it's going to be your process anyway. And with the rapid speed and change of the internet and the technologies around the internet today, youth can't afford not to have a place in a forum such as the Internet Governance Forum where they have so much value to add. And it saddens me that up till now there, has been, there hasn't been more interest. There's been interest, but not more interest to get involved. But I think that the pendulum has now switched to the other end of the scale, that the ball started to roll and momentum is being gathered. And I congratulate youth on that. And let's get more organization going and start creating concerted efforts to have a voice heard on the world platform of internet governance. There's a quote that comes to mind. It's someone said, never doubt that a small group of determined people can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has, end quote. And I love, I love that quote. So I think that if we look, especially with respect to the internet, what small pockets of action in different areas of the world can do in an aggregated type of, of, of system such as the internet. So when these small bits and pieces add up, you end up with massive action. And of course, it's fun to, to, to play on the world stage and to interact on the world stage. But everything that happens on the world stage eventually translates into localized action in any case. So yes, the impact cannot be underestimated. I'm an engineer. And one of the things, again, that I propose at the IGF is let's measure this progress. But one should never doubt that small localized action, or rather, let's say, that no localized action is small action because it's incredibly difficult to measure the impact. And I find, in, from personal experience, once momentum starts, it just continues gathering and continues gathering. And